called out to a boiler service and then when you get here of course it's leaking I'll tell you that on the phone Thankfully, I've uh, found it just by firing up and put her in service mode. Simple fix. It's running the wrong way anyway, but I don't know what's going on there, whether the joint's split or what, I don't know. Lick it out like clip and snap it off. Let's cut off here. Sometimes they end up brittle, these plastic. This plastic after this time. Really, that one's lowering. It's falling downhill, but. You can hear how brittle it is. Just take the time of it. Yeah, coupling an elbow on that. Reconnect her up. Did the pipe a good old clean and dry up, or is it not? It'll not seal on damp pipe. And solvent weld glue. I only put this on the pipe, you put it on the fit and it ends up pushing inside and I'll show you what it looks like. It ends up pushing inside and reduces the flow like that. This coupling's tight. <laughs> Wipe off the excess. <clears throat> Use our old one for a rough guideline for how long we want the new piece. Here's a Rothenberger plastic pipe cutters. They're getting on a bit now, but it's still pretty good. And that's how it's back in the clip, that'll be perfect. I'm going to use a rubber elbow. I'm going to use a rubber ba backsy rubber elbow just because it's got more of a longer reach here. Because I've cut the pipe off below the elbow on the old one. It's not this pipe's now not really long enough. Plus, whatever this overflow pipe is, it's slightly bigger than mine. And the fittings are hard to get on. We're snipping this. This is highly solvent. <laughs> Unless you want a good time. Twist it as you put it in, make sure the glue is all wrapped round, run round, whatever you want to call it. Back in the clip. Falling downhill now. Obviously, that's what you want with waste pipes. Get it cranked up now. Perfect timing. And on to the next one. Next one we've got apparently, although I've not chat yet, a burst somewhere on this pipe. Could be anywhere though. It's not really. Uh, look at it. Straight outside. Bit of insulation there. <laughs> Cross. Oh. 
Yeah, but I don't know why they're inside the house. It's not going to look gay. Me either. Yeah. If that's it, happy days. Didn't look like there was much up it, to be fair. Put a new one on and uh, see how she is. Let's do this one handed. Nope, I can't. Straight off. The water is back on now, like. I'm not sure what was up going on with that washer. A bit fucking it's a bit of a mess like I'm curious how much would you have charged for something like that we've been here all of three four minutes we used to wash your pants obviously i've been called out to it not an emergency call out how much you charge comment down below how much you would have charged in the area you're in. We've got a failed basin clicker waste here. It's failed so much the plug's actually pushed deep inside. <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna undo this trap here. Release the water out. And put our new one in. Nice easy job. Right, so I've dropped it, dropped it in now. I'm not happy with some of the silicone squoze out. It's not a word squoze, but squeezed out. But not right the way around, so I'm just going to pump a little bit more under it. Just be on the safe side for all of you silicone lovers. So underneath, I just run around. Obviously, I can't get in the back with the silicone gun here, so I'll just move it across with my finger. This is how I was taught to do it. So let me know in the comments how, how you'd do it. I know Smart Pipe does it this way. And he does get a bit of grief for it. Tried and tested method. Why wouldn't you do it this way? So get your flat face rubber on now. Don't forget to always use your rubber. Ah, sorry, I couldn't help it. heating on this client dropped the program wireless actually the receiver and it's broke so i'll have to uh, change that is that our power there are six power off swap her out for an eph fitting an uh, external control to this I need to remove the existing receiver so we're going to be using live neutral earth off the terminal block and removing the link wire for our switches. John here is going to be black and, black and grey. So I'll show you how to do that. You don't have to use one of these, you can use where goes. You need to safely terminate the live and the neutral and then link the two blacks together. Something like that. So we removed the link from up there. 
back on. <coughs> Almost ready to power up. Just need to get the receiver on the wall. Got a green light on there. Knock it off. Perfect.